For those of you who joined in on my Instagram live yesterday, you will recognize this bowl of mac and cheese. For those of y'all who don't know, I have had a parasite for the past two weeks. I've eaten nothing but soup and crackers, and this is going to be my first like solid meal in a very long time. Oh my God, I've missed mac and cheese. Hey, turtle nerds, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about something that I really didn't plan on making a video about. We're gonna be discussing whether or not you are at risk of getting sick from your turtles. Now, before we get started with today's video though, you watching this right now, 70% of people watching this are not subscribed. So please do me a flavor and hit the subscribe button. It should be I don't know, either under the video or there's a little button right down here that you can click. If you want to keep yourself from being naked and help to support the channel at the same time, you can buy a shirt just like this one and hit the link right up over here in the top right hand corner that will take you to my shop where you can get a couple different designs of some shirts that I made. Hi pumpkin. If you really want to go that extra mile to help support the channel, hit the link right up over here and head over to my Patreon. So over there, I've been very active uploading a lot of bonus videos, discount codes for merch, discussing future videos, bonus videos. I'm just talking about bloopers now and uploading a video of that. Patrons also get first access to any turtles that I have available. So now with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and let's let's chat about what's going on. Let's go for a little, for a little walk-see, shall we? Now behind me is my bathroom, also known as the location as to where I've spent almost every minute of the past Two weeks. I try to upload two times a week and I missed last week because I had a parasite. How does that happen? And my entire family, they all said, so it was the turtles, right? Wrong. I figured that now would be a perfect time to explain sort of like the risks that are associated with owning pet turtles, especially when you have as many as I do. I've got these guys, these boogers down here, these two fellas up here, and an entire pond filled with turtles. So let's first take a look at whether or not you are at a higher risk risk of getting sick with turtles. And I'm saying getting sick in general, not just like salmonella and whatnot. The answer is, it depends. Everything that we do in our lives, you know, it's, it's risk reward and we're always taking risks doing things and all you can do is be as careful as you can. If I pick up my turtle and lick it, of course I'm going to be at a higher risk of getting sick than someone who doesn't own a turtle. And I'll be more at risk than someone like me who after I pick up my turtles, I always wash my hands a couple of times. So are you at greater risk for the potential to get sick? Sure, if you don't take the necessary precautions. Turtles can be messy animals but there are things that you can do to prevent their water from getting dirty and harboring nasty bacteria. Things like feeding in separate enclosures, changing the water regularly, and cleaning out those filters as often as you can. The number one thing though that I would say, no matter what you do or you're feeding your turtles, putting your hands in there, wash your hands. Like you're equally at risk of getting sick from your dog who you give a bunch of kisses to, you know what I mean? I wash my hands whenever I'm done interacting with my turtles and I have been working with turtles for like 10 years now and I have never directly gotten sick because of them. And I sleep you know, 10 feet from all of these turtles and all of these turtles. I have a mini pond in my room, no issues. I got sick because I went herping in the woods, found this adorable little frog. And then when I came back inside, I didn't shower immediately and ate dinner. Of course I washed my hands and everything, but my thought is that something from my arms or from wherever got on my face from in the woods. And that's how I got those nasty boogers. Like I said, mitigating risk. Had I taken a shower immediately afterwards, I probably would have been fine. But now here I am two weeks later and 10 pounds lighter. Like actually, literally 10 pounds. So turtles under four inches were banned in the United States in the 70s. And this was due to outbreaks of salmonella. They began correlating these salmonella outbreaks with people interacting with smaller turtles. And here's why everyone was getting sick. First off, the turtles were everywhere on every single corner store all across the United States being sold to children. Children are not known for their hygiene. So these kids are interacting with these little turtles, putting them in their mouths, touching them, and then touching all kinds of surfaces and then getting themselves sick. A buddy told me that like a politician's kid or someone got sick and the rest is history. That fear mongering and then they just want to point blame at one thing. It happened to be turtles and they banned them. Can turtles carry salmonella? Of course. Are you at higher risk of getting salmonella from a turtle than eating a salad? No. You're more likely to catch salmonella from eating tomatoes from Chipotle or a salad from wherever from ShopRite than interacting with the turtle and then washing your hands after and going on about your day. It was blown 
blown out of proportion. The studies show, I think 6% of all salmonella cases in the United States were linked back to interaction with reptiles, and that's not even saying turtles. It's just completely, completely blown out of whack. By doing things like not washing your hands at the sink where you wash your dishes, using antibacterial soap and extra, extra, extra hot water, or you sing the ABCs or the alphabet or something like that for a little while. I don't know, you keep scrubbing these SOBs and you wash up your arms. And then even then after that, I usually use paper towels. I don't even use a hand towel just in case there's anything that's left over. And then you just, you, you throw it out people. It's really not that difficult to not get sick, but here I am with a parasite and I'm dying. Kids, show your parents this video so that way you can convince them to get more turtles. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.